Hello everyone and welcome back to another Space Day Saturday. And I know some of you may be wondering, hmm, where is Rocket Lab going to be five years from now? Well, follow along with me as I take you with me on my time machine and we go into the future and make a couple stops along the way and see where Rocket Lab is headed. So let's go. Set course for year 2022, engage. And here we are, we have just reached 2022. And I believe one of the first things that we are going to see from Rocket Lab in 2022 is a faster launch turnaround time. Now, they would have already demonstrated that with their launch uh, data with Destiny. Uh, and I believe that they will continue to further that uh, process and that turnaround time and go quicker. And in this year of 2022, we have witnessed Rocket Lab perfect its helicopter catching technique, safely carrying its rockets back to base to be reused. And also this year, 2022, we got to experience the excitement of Rocket Lab and the Lunar Capstone mission. Now on this mission to the moon, uh, it'll basically be helping to support NASA's mission to uh, send humans back to the moon. And basically what the mission entails is that Rocket Lab will simply be launching a CubeSat into lunar orbit for NASA. Now, uh, the historic pathfinding mission is going to be supporting NASA's Artemis program that is going to land the first woman, yay, and the next man on the moon. Uh, by 2024 is the date that they hopefully will achieve that. Now, basically what Rocket Lab will do, um, they will use their electron rocket and their photon lunar spacecraft. And so then they will launch NASA's Cislunar Autonomous Positioning System Technology Operation and Navigation Experiment. Wow, that was a mouthful. So let's just shorten it, right? Let's just call it capstone. That's a lot easier. <laughs> so basically, um, the CubeSat is going to send it into a unique lunar orbit. Now, capstone's primary objective is basically to test and verify the calculated orbital stability of the near uh, rectilinear halo orbit around the moon. So the same orbit planned for the lunar gateway. Now the gateway uh, is basically a planned small space station that will orbit around the moon to provide astronauts with access to the lunar surface. It's going to feature uh, living quarters for the astronauts, a lab for science and research, and ports for visiting spacecraft. And so Capstone is going to test a navigation system that will measure its position relative to NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, or the, R the LRO, so without relying on any ground stations. Basically, Capstone is one of the first steps to learn how to operate uh, missions on orbit, and it's gonna be laying the groundwork for future exploration of our solar system. Now, Electron Rocket is going to be deploying an innovative satellite that is designed to test new deployable structures and materials technology for solar sail propulsion systems. And that is going to pave the way for sunlight to power the future uh, deep space explorations. So basically, NASA's ACS3 technology uh, is going to be launching as part of a rideshare mission and uh, it'll be uh, lifting off from Launch Complex 1 uh, in New Zealand. So basically the ability for the Electron Vehicle's launch kick stage to deploy the individual satellites to unique orbits uh, even when flying as part of a rideshare was basically a key reason why Rocket Lab was selected as the launch provider for NASA. So it is going to be super cool and you're going to enjoy seeing this solar sail get deployed and uh, help NASA with their deep space explorations. Also year 2022, Rocket Lab will finally be utilizing their Wallops Island, Virginia facility and um, it's going to be an amazing sight to see when that electron rocket finally takes off and uh, gets a different view of Virginia and Wallops Island, and it's gonna be absolutely spectacular for you to watch. 
I tell you what, that solar sail and that lunar capstone mission, now that was really fun to watch. I had a good time with that. Yeah, so, so all of you that are watching and it hasn't happened yet, I'm telling you, it is going to be phenomenal. Phenomenal. All right, well, uh, so far we've seen what we needed to see in 2022. Let's hop back in the time machine and let's jump over to 2023. Course for year 2023. Engage. It is now 2023 and so far what Rocket Lab uh, has accomplished this year is a mission to Venus and uh, launches for Kinesis. And I got to tell you, 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 you got to see it. You just got to wait to see it till 2023. But I'm telling you already, it will be spectacular. So let's dive into some further details on uh, what Rocket Lab has done this year, here in 2023. In year 2023, uh, Rocket Lab would have launched uh, five launches for Kineas, uh taking up 25 satellites and building them basically an entire constellation. So it's definitely an amazing feat for Rocket Lab, and uh, congratulations are due for Kineas as well. Also in the year 2023, Rocket Lab will be going to Venus. No, not that Venus, this Venus right here. And in this mission to Venus, Rocket Lab will be doing its private mission to Venus using its electron to launch a photon satellite to the planet's atmosphere in hopes of providing more data in search for life on Venus. Now, Venus is basically uninhabitable. It is like hurricane force winds and, you know, like acid rain and all that. But there may be life uh, on Venus in the clouds. So I believe that is what the Rocket Lab team is looking for, and hopefully they find something. Now that we've seen all that we have to see in 2023, let's head on over to 2024. Engage. Wow, that was quite a jump. Woo! Here we are in 2024, and I, I must tell you, I'm looking around, and I, I really don't see too much of uh, COVID-19 in this year. It, it's looking like, you know, things are getting better for us, folks. So, uh, yeah, well, hopefully this prediction comes true. <laughs> Fun fact, uh, this year, 2024, was also known as the great year of the toilet paper overstockage. So here we are. This is one of my favorite years of Rocket Lab that I have jumped forward to, 2024. The big year of Neutron launching. So I'm telling you, this year was quite spectacular. Seeing the Neutron launch was absolutely amazing. All of you stuck back there in the past, you were really going to enjoy this launch. I mean, it 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 even looks better than SpaceX. I'm I'm, I'm I know, I know some of you are going to really, really throw some tomatoes at me for that one, but it, I'm telling you, it's looking, it's looking good. It's looking hot. <laughs> so, uh, but just wait, just you wait till you get to 2024 and you'll probably be saying the same thing I am right now. So, uh, yeah. Now, while I was time traveling, I managed to sneak a camera and show you some pictures of what I saw in the year 2024. And here we have Neutron uh, that was successfully launched and is now returning back to Earth, back to its base where it has launched from. And it is just a spectacular sight to see. I mean, look at it come down. It's so graceful. It's almost like an orchestra is playing as you're watching it. It's, it's such a beautiful masterpiece. I personally think the design is way more beautiful than SpaceX's Falcon 9. Oh, speaking of SpaceX, well, we have gone to Mars. That's right. Uh, Rocket Lab has gone to Mars this year, and I'm telling you, it, it was incredible, you know. Um, it, the beautiful red planet, um, the visuals were spectacular. Rocket Lab did an amazing job. So all of you, you know, back in the past, I'm telling you, 2024 is going to be a huge year for Rocket Lab. Uh, from where I'm standing, after seeing Neutron and, and Mars, I'm telling you, that this this is a phenomenal, phenomenal investment, and it's something to be excited about. And I know I am. 
Now in this year, 2024, Rocket Lab is going to Mars. So basically, they will be um, following deployment from a NASA-provided commercial launch vehicle. Uh, the pair of Rocket Lab photons will conduct an 11-month interplanetary cruise before inserting themselves into elliptical orbits around Mars to begin the science phases. So both photons will be incorporating satellite subsystems developed and manufactured by Rocket Lab, uh, um, including star trackers, reaction wheels, ranging transceivers for deep space navigation and in-space propulsion systems. So by leveraging vertically integrated spacecraft manufacturing, this uh, Mars escapade mission will be delivered at a fraction of the traditional cost of pl other planetary missions. So this is going to be supporting the U.S. national strategy for a decadal class science by increasing the path of scientific discovery and enabling more sustainable crude exploration by improving our understanding of the space environment. Oh, oh, by the way, you know what else is going on? Um, yeah, so, so they announced a Photon 2. Yeah, apparently they up graded and updated their, their Photon 1 here in the future. So that's another thing um, to look forward to that, I, you know, I discovered in my little time machine. So uh, it, it's been quite fun, you know, hopping around on this little machine with you all. But um, unfortunately, I have to get back to our present reality, back to the past, you know, back to, you know, where we're all at right now. So but at least we know we have a lot of cool stuff to look forward to after that little trip we just took. So um, I'm excited. Be sure to stay tuned. And um, me personally, I'm not getting discouraged whenever I see Rocket Lab stock take a dip because I'm looking at that long term. You know, I'm looking at the, the five years from now. I'm looking at when, when they've matured. I mean, they've already accomplished so much now in our present. Imagine how much more five years from now. I mean, especially after the trip we just took into the future. So this is going to be really, really fun. And it's going to be an amazing ride uh, over these next five years. And um, I look forward to sharing this journey with you all as we, you know, keep following up with Rocket Lab, along with other space stocks and other really neat investments that uh, will probably catch your eye. So be sure to stay tuned for next Stock Trek. As you know, I release a video every Space Day Saturday and maybe even a couple surprises, you know, along the way in between on other, um, other days. So be sure to stay tuned and see what else I have cooking. Until next Space Day Saturday, live long and prosper.